Hi guys, Lava Lava 135 here, aka Shanna, and I'm here with another rap can report from yours truly. And as you can see here, today is my seventh rap can report. Wow, how the time flies by. It's not that long ago that I started back in 2011, and since then, I'm still going strong. So, yeah. So, I got two news to share with you throughout April. So, for the seventh year in a row, I'll get started. In San Bruno, California, a shooting occurred outside YouTube headquarters. The suspect was identified as a 38-year-old woman who, according to her father, hated YouTube for demonetizing most of her videos and filtering some videos that were deemed too inappropriate to view online. At 12.46 p.m., the police of San Bruno received reports of a shooting happened at YouTube headquarters. The shooter had a weapon with a capacity of 10 rounds and she emptied one magazine before reloading. She also saw one of the building's doors in the lobby. She eventually took her own life as police came to the scene. Four people had been injured in the attack. President Trump was briefed about the YouTube headquarters shooting and tweeted, Our thoughts and prayers are with everyone involved. Thank you to our phenomenal law enforcement officers and first responders that are currently on the scene. YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki wrote on Twitter, There are no words to describe how horrible it was to have an active shooter at YouTube today. Our deepest gratitude to law enforcement and first responders for their rapid response. Our heart goes out to all those injured and impacted today. We will come together to heal as a family. Barbara Brish Former First Lady to President George H.W. Bush and known to all as America's grandmother, had died peacefully at the age of 92. She was an American figure to all and to herself in the Bush generation. She was born and raised in Manhattan and during her youth, she was athletic by swimming, playing tennis, and bike riding. But her biggest interest was reading, which she began earlier in life and we called the whole family to gather around and read during the evening. When Bush was 16, she met George at a dance in the country club where the rest was history. She was engaged 18 months later before he went off to World War II as a Navy torpedo bomber pilot. He even named three planes after her. The two were married after he returned home where they settled down over the next 13 years. In 1981, Bush became second lady of the United States after his husband became vice president and soon became a household name for the last eight years. She took an interest in literacy issues and began working with several different literacy organizations. Family literacy was her utmost goal as first lady when she created the Barbara Bush Foundation for Family Literacy. She even made a children's book about a litter of puppies on behalf of her English Springer Spaniel named Millie. The proceeds of her book goes to the literacy nonprofit organization. After the couple left the White House in 1993, they resided back in Houston, Texas, where they spent the rest of their lives together with their five children, now all grown up, 14 grandchildren, and seven great grandchildren. Bush supported her son. George W. Bush to run for president and has several schools, libraries, and a children's hospital named after her. She visited the her she visited a Houston Relief Center for people who are displaced after Hurricane Katrina in 2000. Hurricane Katrina. I'm sorry, hold on. There you go. Sorry, the um talker proper is a little messed up here. In 2008, Bush and her husband opened the Georgia Barbara Bush Center at the University of New England, which was held the Bush Legacy Collection due to her family's literacy and her love for Maine. 
She even appeared with her husband at Super Bowl 51 for the coin toss. She suffered major medical setbacks and as the years go on and being admitted to medical care several times, but she never let that get in the way of being who she is. A wife, mother, grandmother, and advocate to Americans everywhere. She even refused medical treatment so she could see through her final days up until the end. After the news broke out about the passing of Bush, people far and wide sent condolences to the entire Bush family, including H.W. Bush himself. They had been married for 73 years. A funeral was held at the St. Martin Episcopal Esc Church and was buried along with her daughter Robin, who died of leukemia in 1953. She was three years old at the time. Barbara Bush was an icon to the Bush dynasty and gave us the driving inspiration to read together as a family. And well, that's it for the seventh year in a row, my webcam report. So, what do you think? If you would like, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to like me, subscribe me, and visit me on Twitter and Facebook in the description down below. And we, apart for the sad news, we got some good news as well. I've been talking about Prince William and Princess Kate's third baby coming. Well, I happen to know that the baby has now been born as of yesterday and by the time of this recording. I'm already... And as you can see, I'm already working on it. And I will tell you all about it in addition to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding next month. So, I guess that's the announcement. And that will be it for me. So, until next month, I'm LavaVon175, aka Shanna. And I'll see you later.